welcome back. It's been 15 minutes now, so we're going to have a look at Ethan's arm and see what he's reacted to. I can see quite nicely from here some things that he's already reacted to, but he's going to come a bit closer to the camera to show you what his arm's like, and I'll also upload a photo. So Ethan, if you just come and show us. So you can see some raised bumps here, and that's what we're looking at. So for example, this is cat, and what we're looking at is the raised bump rather than the redness around it. So I'm going to measure these bumps and then that will help me work out whether or not he's allergic to them. So if you sit back down, Ethan. So you pop, yeah, you pop. So what I'm going to do is have a little look to see if he's got any bumps and have a feel. So with the grass, he's probably got just a one millimetre bump that I can feel. And the tree pollen, we're just marking around the edges. And this is the birch pollen as well, the little bumps there. Nothing with weeds, so you're right, Ethan, to go around in the weeds. So this is cat. Also nothing for dogs, so Ethan will be happy that we can have a dog. But unfortunately his sister is really allergic to dogs, so we can't have any of those. So, and we have a little, quite a ruler here that's got different sized dots on. Um, or sometimes I will actually use a ruler. So I know that for grass pollen, he's reacted to just one millimetre and tree fits approximately a three millimetre and the birch probably is about four millimetres and the rose is from tree. Nothing for the weed. Um, cat is bigger. So we'll say that cat is a six millimetre reaction. Nothing with the dog. Has dust mite up here. So there's a much bigger reaction there. So we are looking at a seven, and if I'm not sure with the circles, then I will um, use the ruler to give a more accurate measurement. He didn't react to the salty water, which is perfect. And with the histamine, he had a good strong reaction of six millimetres, showing that the test definitely worked. So whenever we are interpreting allergy tests, we always do that in conjunction with the history. So if someone, for instance, if I was checking whether or not they were allergic to cat, if you can just sit nicely for us, um, if I was checking if they were allergic to cat, but they said to me, I have no problems around cats, they never cause me any sneezing or runny eyes or breathing difficulties, and they tested positive, it wouldn't imply that they're allergic to cats because there was no history in keeping with allergy. But for Ethan, when he is around cat or, or um, in the morning when he's exposed to lots of dust mite, when he wakes up, um, he does get symptoms of a runny nose, sneezing, itchy eyes. And therefore, the fact that he's got tests that are positive, they um, fit really with allergy. So they're showing that he's got a history of allergic reactions. We've done the allergy tests, which has confirmed it. And the two together prove that he's allergic. So generally, we're saying that these tests are positive when they're three millimetres or more in size. So when it comes to looking at Ethan's um, results, he's not allergic to grass pollen, he's not allergic to weeds, he's not allergic to dog. But he did react to tree and birch pollen, uh, to cat and to dust mite. And you'll see from Ethan's arm that some of the reactions seem to be stronger than others. So for, for instance, to tree pollen, he only had a three millimetre reaction, whereas to dust mite, he had a seven millimetre reaction. Now actually, the bigger the size of the test doesn't tell us about the significance of the reaction. For instance, if I was checking this with food, it wouldn't say to me that the bigger these tests, the more likely he is to have anaphylaxis. It just gives me some indications about whether or not he's likely to outgrow it, how certain I am about the reaction. But it wouldn't tell me about how severe his reactions are. Um, but actually, we do know that um, house dust might do trigger quite significant reactions for Ethan. And that's it. So if Ethan um, leaves us alone now, then over the next 15 to 30 minutes, these hives will completely resolve and his arm will look normal, other than my drawings all over it. If his arm was really uncomfortable, we could put some cold flannels or cold tissues over it. Um, or if it was really bothersome to you, then you could have some antihistamines or your little one could have some antihistamines and that would dampen that reaction down and help take away the itch. But these are really useful. As you saw, they can be done quickly and it means I can give you some answers in clinic. Thank you very much.